WBZ night for us at 6 o'clock. Thank you for joining us. We hope you're safe wherever you're watching us. I'm Joshua Shore. And I'm Lauren Moss. MAGA is a popular political slogan. We know that. Mm -hmm. But can MAGA also be the nickname of a candidate running for political office right here in Michiana? And the St. Joseph County Election Board was called up to answer that question just hours ago. Mark Peterson is live in studio with more. Mark, what are they saying? You know, it was a deliberate attempt to inject a little bit of politics into a nonpartisan school board race. Some found it uh, creative, others rather concerning. Where does it say in Indiana Code 3-5-7-5 that you cannot have a nickname if it's for political strategy? Because they're, they're saying that that's a thing. That's what they just said. That I can't do that because of their feelings. Or where does it say that in the code? Ben Dallas stood before the St. Joseph County Election Board today for trying to stand out in a crowded field of PHM school board candidates. So it says make PHM great again. Ben Dallas for PHM School Board. Ben threw his hat into the ring, tried to get his matching nickname on the ballot, wanted it to read Ben Dallas MAGA, admittedly trying to inject a little politics into a race that is nonpartisan. Most of the things they vote on are political. That's just a fact. They're political. And I think knowing, I think it helps the voters out to know the values of the candidates they're voting for. That's all. I am worried that by keeping it, you're setting a precedent in the state of Indiana for all future nonpartisan school board elections. You're going to allow people to be able to put Democrat, GOP, Republican, leftist, ally, libertarian, any, any nickname that they designate for themselves to get around the state law. In the end, the board did boot Ben off the ballot, although the ruling didn't directly address the use of MAGA. Why'd you do it? For political reasons, for political strategy. The same way Nikki Haley is not using her real first name on the ballot. Her first name is Nimarada. But she actually told a news outlet that Nimarada doesn't look good on a yard sign. So she says Nikki Haley. That was allowed, so why isn't my, my nickname allowed? The law allows for the use of one nickname. The board actually found Ben used two, the second being Ben instead of his full name, Benjamin. Mark Peterson is your name for sure, and we know it because of that indefatigable reporting as always. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we